Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video for you and I'm going to be talking about things that I plan to bring with me into 2020. A lot of people have been doing this and I thought that it would be nice considering the circumstances of where I am and all the things that are happening. Um, I, I have decided to forego my original plan which were WIPGO 2021 and uh, what's the other one? That other one that I can't think of. Um, so if you don't know me, um, hi, I'm Rachel. This is my channel about crafting and I am doing a lot of cross stitch, knitting and diamond painting. Uh, recently I came over to the United States I normally live in Ireland and I came over to the US to visit with my family. I am extending the amount of time that I'm staying. I will be here for at least two months. Uh, so um, all I have is what I brought with me and that is okay. <laughs> but I just wanted to, to update everybody because it's been a little while since I've made um, an actual real time video. And yeah, so let's talk about cross stitch. So first up, uh, the project that I've been working on the most is my Dark Queen of the Seas Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Stitchery. This is a stitch along that started in September, I believe. Is it September? Yes, it was. I'm taking it out of the Q-snap so you can see it in its glory because it's worth it. Um, this has been beautiful. I decided to there, there were some options that you could do, and um, the option to change her face and her hair. Um, and if you haven't been following me on my, sorry about the noise, it's just, it's very warm here. I'll talk about that later. Um, but if you haven't been following my Instagram or Facebook or my social media, which is linked down below, you can find it there, um, I decided to go with a hair option that was not charted. So um, Erin originally, the, the designer, put out two different hair colors, purple and teal, right? No, purple and blue, excuse me, purple and blue. And then people started brainstorming and you know how people like to change things and make them their own. And some people started changing their hair colors and he started changing the hair color and he made this picture of six different hair colors. And there was one in particular that really stood out to me and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. And it's gorgeous. So I decided that I wanted to create that look. I'll just move my, I have some loose threads because I'm a heathen. I'm not a heathen, I like to park. But she's wrinkly, but you ready? She looks amazing. So what I did was I started on the right side of her face and did all that hair and now I'm working upward from the bottom on the left side. And this is not charted. Like I, I found the lines where I thought that the highlights should be and that's what I'm doing. So. I'm working really diligently on this and I thought that I could have it done for today, the hair, but I can't. It's just too much hair and with the, like, choosing my own colors and putting them in the correct position, I'm eyeballing the pattern, the picture, and then plopping it into the pattern, so it's taking a little longer than normal. There's a lot of stitching in that, <laughs> just FYI, but... Um, on this side of her face, it's only a little bit of hair here, and it's just under her armpit there. So I'm really nearly completed with December's drop. And if you remember, when I left Ireland, I didn't even have this arm. So I needed to do, and her face, I needed to do her face and her arm. I don't know if you can see that. Her face. It's so pretty. I really like her face. I did not complete the back stitching on the face yet because 
I wanted to get the rest of her hair in before I did that. Right. That is that. And yes, I'm just gonna actually, yeah, I'll just I'll leave it there. It's fine. Um, and that is actually all the stitching I've done. I have only worked on that one project. There's a lot of hair. <laughs> There's so much hair in that. But I've been I've been keeping that my focus piece, even though my mind has been like skipping all over the place and like I've wanted to do this and do that and do this. Um, and I brought all of these projects. Like I brought um, I brought my Mirabilia Miss Cherry Blossom. I brought what is in here? This is oh uh, Fox View, which actually I would really love to do that. Foxview uh, is the little, whoops, glare, little boxes from Plum Street Samplers that me and my friends are doing as a Sal, Foxview Sal, Foxy Sal, Foxy Sal. And I brought a bunch of other little projects with me, but um, I just haven't wanted to start something new because there's a deadline with this and it's very dense, or at least this drop was. So that is what's been going on with that. Um, that's all the stitching. Let's talk about the knitting. So I have been working on, oh goodness, hold on one second. Okay, so let me take a quick sip of coffee. It's getting cold on the windowsill and I'm sorry, there's like yard work happening now. Someone's getting their septic tank pumped or something. I have no idea. Anyway, I have been working on two knitting projects. I'm wanting to cast on another one. Oh, here's more. Oh, I have more stitching. Hang on a second. Okay, I do have more stitching. So the, here it is. Winter 2020 Stitch Along by Stitchonomy started on December 24th. And I got the kit. I think I explained this. I got the kit. It comes with the thread. It comes with some pom-poms. I think this goes on the bottom when you're finished. And when I got the kit, I was really confused at first. And then I realized that all of the colors are in order. So I just put the symbol next to the appropriate color, just going down the key. They match up perfect. That was kind of like an oh duh moment <laughs> for me. I was like, uh, how do I know what color is what? And then I was like, oh yeah, duh. I went ahead and I gridded my fabric, even though it's Ada, she recommended gridding it. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And so I started, look at how pretty it is. So this is the first drop. Again, I'm a heathen. Um, first drop was Mountains and Starry Skies, and there have been two other drops since, but I haven't had the time. I've been focusing on the Dark Queen of the Sea cell. But this is a really fun little cell, and you can get this done, like, in each drop in, like, two hours, so that's really cool. And I think it drops every three days or something. I could be wrong about that, but I have been enjoying the little the little updates and I think it ends in February so maybe I can finish it before I leave we'll see so that is that one uh, my main whip for knitting has been the season of serenity shawl season of serenity shawl by oh my goodness hold on one second Your name on it? Knit Joys with a Z. Knit Joys or Knit Joy Z. Um, and this was a 24 or 25 day, I can't remember, um, shawl where the patterns released every day leading up to Christmas. Now, of course, I was unable to do that. Um, each piece, each day was a little too much knitting for me to do in a day. And that's saying a lot because I knit a lot every day <laughs> but I have gotten up to what day am I on now I am on 
on day nine. This is the point of the shawl. And this is day one. We'll go through the whole thing. So this is day one. This is day two. Is this the right side? This, sorry. So day one. Day two. This is beautiful wraps. Day three is plain stockinette. Day four is this gorgeous diamond pattern. Day five is all garter. Six, I don't know how to explain this one. It's a gorgeous lace pattern. It's gonna look wonderful once it's stretched out. It needs to stretch. Hold on. It's very pretty. And then there's this ribbed one, which drove me batty. I think there's a, yeah, there's a mistake here. I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting it done. And then the scalloped edge and the long pickup stitches was day eight. And now we are on day nine, which is interesting. So you pick up from this point here. See how it goes out there. You pick up from there and then you go down and it's very pretty. It's very subtle, but it's super pretty. Um, I haven't, I haven't picked this up in a few days because it is so complicated. It is difficult to do anything and knit this. So, um, which is the problem that I had with my falling, no fading point by Hobie Locatelli. I couldn't do anything, I couldn't listen to anything, I couldn't watch any TV, um, and my problem at the moment is that um, I have family who are visiting and, you know, people dropping by and, you know, saying hello, socially distanced, of course, but um, I can't, I can't look away when I'm in the middle of a row, so this has been impossible to do at the moment, but I hope to pick it up back up again soon. And that is using Dina's Home of Crafts Advent Yarn. So if you wanted to have a look, um, actually I'll throw in a picture here so that you can see the whole rainbow of color. It's going to be amazing when it's finished. I absolutely love that um, Advent mini skein set that I got from her. So the second knitting project that I cast on was for the this 12 days of Harry Potter Christmas box. This is the 12 days after Christmas. I know I went a little overboard. Um, this is the Chamber of Secrets box. This is their second year of doing this. Uh, this is my first year and in the box you have the mystery yarn like the skeins all wrapped up. You don't know what colors you're getting and you get a pattern as well. And I got a cute little letter from Hogwarts inviting me. And so let me see if I can show you the colors real quick. I have a little bit of time. Um, nope. Moaning Myrtle, which is black, white, and gray, was the first day. I gotta be careful because I can't go too far ahead. And I'm all caught up. This happens. The second day was, and you're not going to be able to see this, this is like a blue, blue, green, and cream. This was Magical Me. The third day is Polyjuice Potion, which is beautiful greens, blues, and brown. And the fourth day, which I haven't put on my Instagram, so this is, yeah, I'm going to do that today is fox it's pretty I like that a lot the colors don't look true because of the room i'm in and all the lighting and everything but yeah so i cast it on and i started and i'm now officially in section two of the metamorph faggot metamorph magus shawl which is the pattern that was included it is a i believe a v-shaped shawl Hard to show because it kind of goes sideways. See, the bottom is a pico border, 
and then it's got this pretty um, seed stitch almost looking thing and then we're in a slip stitch section which is actually kind of difficult so it's pretty I just find it very difficult and I am loving it I really like it so I'm gonna keep going and put all that back together. That is my Wonder City Bakery uh, tote bag that I picked up with my friend Jesse Mislaid Pages here on uh, YouTube. Um, we went to the bakery that she always talks about in her videos. So I'm excited about that. So I'm opening those up and I am sharing those yarns on my Instagram account if you're interested in seeing the releases and those go on my Facebook as well. So that is that one. I know I'm moving a little fast because I have a lot to share with you guys and it's not exactly as um, prepared and organized as I would like, but hey, new, new place, new, new things to worry about, right? I'm going to move this aside because I'm going to move everything aside because I have a lot of haul to share with you and I hope that I can without like messing up a bunch of stuff. So um, let's, this is going to be cross stitch and yarn. So if you only like one, then please bear with me. <laughs> Maybe this will help give you some company. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying filming again. It's been so long, y'all. Also, I've been sharing, I've been sharing vlogs once a week on my Patreon. So if you're interested in seeing more like behind the scenes information and stuff like that, please check out my Patreon. I don't normally talk about it at the end of the month. If you're interested in joining, don't join until the first because it'll charge you twice. So please don't do that. Um, right. So I went to this store in Ashland, which is really close to me, called Center of the Yarnverse. If you've been here a while, you probably saw that my grandma actually sent me things from that store months ago. And it was great to actually finally get to go. So I got a few things. Oops, that just came unraveled. Of course it did. Whatever. Um, this is Cascade Yarns 220 Superwash Wave in the color. 14. Yeah, it's a really pretty like bubblegum and blue with some, can you see the striping? Isn't that pretty? So I have plans to make a winter hat out of this. At least I think I will. I'm looking for one skein wonder for this because it's a worsted weight uh, yarn and it's very kind of wintry but cute. You know, so I've got that, and then also I got this one. Look at that! Isn't that pretty? This is Teresa Rouge Designs, uh, hand woven sport weight tencel in the color fuchsia, and I can't explain to you how soft this is. Um, it's it feels like silk, but it's made of plant material. So it is uh, really environmentally friendly. And those were both on clearance. They were half price. This was originally $30. So I'm looking forward to finding something for that as well. And then on the Saturday before Christmas, uh, I believe, we went to the store. I took my grandmother there. Big mistake because she has to buy everything. And I found a pom-pom for the, the one skein wonder hat that I'm gonna make. I thought that would be really cute. Little little fake fur pom-pom on top of this beautiful yarn. And then they were running, there was a trunk show um, by the designer, or the, sorry, excuse me, the yarn dyer, Urban Girl. Urban Girl Yarns. I don't think that's gonna come in very clear, but it's urbangirlyarns.com. 
and she designed this color. This color is called, what is it again? Fancy Peddler. And it's the name of this, this guy in Ashland, well, or named for the guy in Ashland who rides around on his bicycle and he's very, he just makes everybody smile. Uh, he does it voluntarily, like he doesn't get paid to be the town mascot, but basically he's become the town mascot. He's awesome. If I have any footage of him, I'll make sure to share it with you because he is just, he's a ray of sunshine in this world. So I really, really like this. It's got hot pinks, light pinks, greens. It's like, it's like all these pretty colors together. So I have three, three skeins of Fancy Peddler. And I thought this would be a good shawl quantity. Um, it has Stellina in it. It's 85, 10, 15, Superwash Merino, Nylon, and Stellina, and um, 125 grams. It's a super high twist, so it does have that kind of like bunching, but I think it looks awesome. It's so pretty, and I love the pop of purples as well, which you can't really see in this one because of the, um, the sleeve, what do you call that? Yeah, so that's what it looks like, it is awesome. So please check her out, like go check her out. She has lots of really amazing colors and I got to meet her in person. She's so, so nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. UrbanGirlYarns.com. She is a local to me yarn dyer. To me right now. I'm definitely gonna have to buy more. And Ashland is one of the stores that you could do that. So that is my haul from Center of the Yarnverse. Now, let's talk about really quick what I got, because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have, and I need to do this quickly. Um, a few things that I got from, like Jesse. Jesse died, gave me bits from things. Um, she's awesome. I got a little ornament for my orts, because I thought that would be cute went to Michael's and grabbed a whole bunch of DMC for home for the holidays. Oh, that's where that, I was wondering where the scissors went. What else? Uh, oh yeah, she popped in the humbug. Do you see this? If you watch Michelle Bendy, um, you may have seen this little Bent Creek chart. It's called humbug and it's a little bug. And he looks a little bit mushy mushy. Um, so I'm gonna stitch him and give him back. He's the traveling humbug. Hashtag traveling humbug Sal. I bought some fabric from Jesse, uh, like this non, uh, it's, what's the word? Unnamed mystic fabrics. Um, this is an 18 count Ada. I'm planning on doing one over one and I think I might, I might put something on it. Oh, uh, something. But I'm gonna use Sulky probably. She didn't want any of the Ada anymore. This is another 18 count Ada. I think this is the, the one she got for the Stitch Your Own Adventure. It's parchment color. And this one, oh my gosh, this is so soft. This is Dying for Cross Stitch by Kathy Davidson, 18 count as well. And it's pretty blue. Isn't that pretty? I love that color and it's so soft. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, for these, I'm gonna just use a thicker one strand because I like the coverage of one strand on 18 count. I don't like the coverage of two, or I don't like the feel of two because my, my floss gets all bunched up and then like it, yeah, it becomes a problem. So that's in that bag. I'm just gonna try to move things out of the way as I get through them because I can hear everyone talking now and I'm highly aware that they want to go shopping and I don't, don't tell them. Oh. I got some things while I was over there like 
Fibrilicious Fibers. Uh, this is called the Monsoon Pack. This is a beautiful thread pack with purple grape harvest thistle, wallflower, and rose petals. Those are all the colors in there, and they're so pretty. So there's that. I also got my Silk of the Month Club from, from Jessie over on mislaypages.etsy.com. She has a Dinky Dyes Silk Pack each month of, of four different skeins of Dinky Dyes. So this is the month of December. Looking around to see if I have something white. I'll use this envelope. Please bear with me. And this envelope. Okay, this one is called Bush Christmas. This one is Bush Baby. Isn't that pretty? Bush Baby. This one is Bunya Cone. Bunya Cone. I'm guessing that's a um, type of a pine, maybe? And then the last one for December was Brambleberry. Oh my god. Glambleberry. So those are our dinky dies for the month of December. She's going to be sending them to me here in the next two months, I think, which is awesome. Thank you, Jesse. Um, and she just, what she does is she invoices you through, I think through PayPal, and then she just sends you the new pack every month as, as long as you want to continue. And that's how I'm going to build my dinky dies stash. Uh, next up, we have some Fortnite fabrics. Now, um, I was in a live stream that they did, and uh, they were doing giveaways in their live stream. And I think I misunderstood. I thought that I was a winner, but I wasn't. And I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. I thought that you said my name. No big deal. Doesn't matter. Merry Christmas. Talk to you soon. And they were like, no, 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 no. We're going to send you something. I was like, what? What? Why? Okay, thank you. So they were really nice about it. I mean, I would have been happy not winning. It's okay. But, you know, Derek and Christian. So this is um, called The Greens. It's a 28 count even leaf. Isn't that pretty? It's such a pretty color. So pretty. 28 count even weave. Well, I like I like all fabric. <laughs> I am I am okay with all the fabrics. I just need to know my my limits for things, I guess you could say. And we have more Fortnite right here. Oh, and I did order from these Q snaps from Fortnite because they were the cheapest that I could find. They're cheaper than Amazon and faster than Amazon. So I got two eight by eight frames because I like to use the size is it 8 by 12 so I can use the other half of my 12 and make another yeah does that make sense I like 8 by 12 okay here's another Fortnite crinkle crinkle Ooh. this must be a 32 count. Interesting. 32 count even weave. This must be a fabric of the month. Um, called Dryad's Saddle. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. So I have been there, well, up until tomorrow, I have been in their neutral fabric of the month club. They're fabric softener, so it's good too. It's not overpowering. So nice, so nice. Um, and I've really enjoyed the, the neutral club, um, but I decided during that live stream that I would change and I'd go for their colorful club. So I have changed to the 
what do they call it? Famous duos. So they're going to be like a piece of fabric that's dyed with two colors, very colorful colors. I'm going to leave that to the side. We got to get through this way. Okay. Just making sure that I don't have any more Fortnite. I don't. Okay, next up is Bee Stitch Me. This one, I'm not going to take it out. This is um, 16 count Ada in the color Guardian. Oh, it's so bright. It's so vibrant. Another reason why I love Ada. So this is November 2020's Fabric of the Month, Guardian. That is a beautiful gold color. I can only imagine what it's going to look like when you take it out and look at the whole thing, but we will do that another day. So another thing that I got while I was at Jessie's was my cre my color streak from Creativity by Gidge here on YouTube. She's also a floss tuber and um, she sent me Christmas sets. So uh, we have Wrap It Up, which surprisingly looks exactly like the wrapping paper I used this year. And this one's called Berry Mary. And then the nails that I'm actually wearing right now are the ones that she said in her note are her all-time favorite, which are Bordeaux Glitz, which you won't be able to see because, yeah. But it's a pretty purple, really fat, glittery one. I really like it a lot. And I've been wearing it since I put them on uh, about a week ago. And my nails are really short right now because I've been doing a lot of work and cleaning around the place. So, but I still feel kind of fancy wearing them. And she also sent me a little, um, she always sends me a little kind of pack of, of accent nails. And this is Home Sleep Home. It's another glitter. I love the clear with the glitter I found. So I've actually ordered more from her um, and they should be here. They're coming here instead. and. Um, I'm super excited to wear those. So thank you very much, Amy, for that. All right, and then do we have, we have a little bit more. I got a grab bag from, from Jessie. Uh, she didn't want this Ada anymore. Again, I gave her some money because I was like, that's a lot of Ada. Um, it's, I think it's mostly 18 count. So I'll have a lot of little bits of 18 count to play with and what's really special is that I have some that she dyed herself. So like this piece right here is a Miss Lay's Pages exclusive. So I'm so excited to have these little special pieces as well as this massive piece. Oh, what is this? I don't know. There are orts everywhere, Jessie. She must have been mid-project or something. But she opened these. But this is half of a piece. It's really pretty. Or a quarter, actually. A quarter of a bigger piece. I've got some other really pretty colors, like this one. So pretty. I love it. So there's lots of those types of things in there, all different shape, shapes and sizes, um, you know, like oranges and browns and all of that. So thank you very much, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm so excited to use those for some of the smalls that I'll have this year, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> and then, is that, is that, oh, she also got me these chocolate filled marshmallows. I asked her to find these and she did. So thank you. Um, okay, and then this is the last thing. This is my knit crate, but I don't think it's going to be that exciting because this was just in case I needed extra for the cat sweater that I made. 
Um, this is called Pavement. It's a 100% Pima Cotton Uru Yarns, which is available on knitcrate.com. And that's a gorgeous, um, very soft gray and like dark and light gray. The pooling on these is fantastic. So I would highly recommend buying them if you can. This is the same purple indigo that I used for the body of my um, test knit. And this one is called Stardust. So this comes up as more purple on camera, but it's actually blue. It's, it's hard to explain. This is one of those colors that will confuse people um, and confuse your eyeballs. So if you are interested in purchasing these, these are available on knitcrate.com in the member central. Um, they may be available to the public. I'm not 100% sure, probably. I'm sure that they have more. These were a part of the original like knit crate box that you get and with a knit crate box you you sign up and you choose whether you want a hot color, a cool color, or a neutral tone color and they'll send you two massive skeins like this each month. Um, and you do get to see a preview if you wish, if you want to know, um, which is what I do because I don't always like everything that they offer like I don't do chunky yarn or anything like that so I've kind of like stopped for a little while but if you are interested if you have a look and you see something that you like I do have a link down below it's a referral link actually sorry it's not down below it's in my link haven which is like the place where I keep all the links to everything uh, for cross stitch and knitting and in there you'll see a link for knit crate you'll save 50 percent on your first box and that's what is the first box i think in dollars it's 26 dollars a month and you get the two where like if i can put this in perspective one hank of hand dyed yarn is typically 25 to 30 dollars per 200 meters you know what i mean um, or 250 meters. So you get two of them for 26 and your first box is gonna be half that price. So if you are interested and you see that the next month's box is something that you want, go ahead and use my link and it'll give you 50% off. Um, these I just purchased on their own because I wanted extra, just in case something happened. But I didn't need it after all. Is there anything else I brought with me that I need to show you today? I don't think there is. Nope, I think that's everything. So guys, I'm sorry that it's so short and kind of chaotic and all over the place, but I do appreciate your patience. I will be having a video coming up next week which will explain some of the things that have happened so far and what's going to happen. So for plans, the upcoming a uh, few months I will be here and I will be um, taking care of my grandparents. I don't want to say it too loudly. Um, and uh, it's it means that I'm, I'm going to restrict what I buy. I'm not going to be really buying anything. I need to um, keep my my personal items low because I do have to eventually go back to Ireland and I need to have room in my suitcase so things like this you know um, all the the fabrics and things like this I'm actually going to ship soon I'm going to to box them up and send them away um, because I can't carry everything home with me but um, it's all good it's all good I am so fortunate and so lucky to, to have the ability to have all these things. And um, when I get back, hopefully I'll be able to, um, to do more giveaways and things like that as well. Um, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes, who knows. Right now the house is very busy, very full. The past two weeks, I mean, I've had my own father, uh, my uncle, um, Christmas, you know, now it's New Year's Eve, and I just, it has been a really, really challenging year, and even though 
even though a lot of bad things have happened this year, we've gotten bad news and you know it's been it's been very difficult. I think that we should try to focus on the positive things that have happened. Um, I finally uh, some of the, my own personal things are that I you know I I've become um, financially independent again, which is lovely. It's it's a great feeling. Um, I allowed myself to let go of some of the daily stresses by, for example, um, getting a meal box. That was really helpful there for a while um, for my own mental health. And so I highly recommend if you're struggling with um, juggling everything to just kind of understand that it's okay and give yourself some grace. It's okay if you need to rely on someone else to do something for you, which is something that I'm trying to teach those that I am with right now, that it's okay to lean on me because I'm here. And that's what I want to do. I want to help. And I want to take off those daily pressures to help them. Um, I'm really, really thankful and grateful that I've had so many wonderful people in my life who I either you know, personally or those of you that I have talked to and reached out through the internet and you know it's just been it's been fantastic so thank you very much I don't want to get weepy or anything um, but 2021 I think will be a much more positive year It'll still be challenging for sure, but let's try to keep keep a hopeful and positive outlook on how it can be and just make changes and reach out to people this year. Uh, take care of your neighbors and your loved ones and, you know, be safe, be well. Let's do this. <laughs> um, I've let go of, of the fact that I won't be doing things the way that I intended and I I had a little cry about it, but now it's okay. Um, you know, I had all these plans. I had uh, so many things that I wanted to start on the first of the year and then I wanted to work on, but sometimes life doesn't work that way, you know? So it's okay, it's all right, we'll have opportunities later. New things will come. I think that's all I can really say today. Thank you so much for joining me and for sticking around. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've posted, but I hope that I can continue to make videos while I'm here. I'm going to do my darndest. I have the tripod now, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I hope that you have a great week, that you have a happy new year, and I will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.